What's up, everybody? It's Trey Smith. You are watching the College Game Time YouTube channel. The Oregon Ducks just got some big news. They've landed four-star defensive lineman from Cypress, Texas, Terrence Green. He is committed to Oregon. And Dan Lanning finally gets that help in the trenches with this 23 class. You know, he's already landed four four-star defensive backs, and now he's got a big-time player up front to add to the fold. And uh, it's interesting because some experts – projected green to have a higher ceiling at offensive tackle just based on his measurables his physical traits his raw power that's the one thing about this kid is he's very very raw and I think once he's plugged into a college system where he's getting technique and he's getting coached on 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 how to play the game fundamentally he's gonna be a monster and I think you know some people just look at him and say oh, okay his length his arm length and all that he's probably probably a more um, um, has more potential at offensive tackle. But I think when Dan Lanning looks at this kid, I think he sees a Trayvon Walker. And let me preface that. First off, Trayvon Walker, obviously being the number one overall uh, draft pick in the uh, 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 most recent NFL draft, was a monster on the Georgia defense in 2021, arguably one of the greatest defenses of college football history. Um, and Trayvon Walker was a guy that played everywhere. It seemed like he was a defensive end. He played at the nose some, or he played over the center. Sometimes he dropped back into coverage. He was very, very versatile. And so am I saying that Terrence Green is going to be the next number one overall draft pick and he's going to have the same type of impact on Oregon's defense that, Tray that Trayvon Walker had on Georgia's? No. What I'm saying is, is I think Dan Lanning looks at Terrence Green sees his size, sees his skill set, sees his raw power, sees um, his measurables and thinks, OK, this is very similar to what Trayvon Walker was when he came out of high school. OK, if you look at a lot of their traits physically, uh, uh, Walker came out of high school, 6'5", 285. Green coming out of high school is 6'6", 275. And it's, it's interesting because Walker is now listed uh, on the Jaguars as being 275. So he's actually dropped weight during his time in college, leaned out and probably allowed him to play even faster. I wouldn't be shocked if that's the plan for Terrence Green. Get him up there, lean him out, teach him how to play the game fundamentally sound to where he can really utilize that raw, just just skill that he has, that raw power that he has to just wreak havoc. And I think that's kind of what the plan will be for him at Oregon is a guy who can line up a defensive end, but that you can move him around in multiple places. He's very, very versatile in that sense. And the fact that he plays on both sides of the ball in high school, to me, makes him an even more threat on the defensive side because he knows how that offensive lineman is thinking that he's attacking every play. And so I think that that's going to help him. I think once he gets into a place where he can really put it all together, he can focus on one side of the ball. He can focus on one, you know, position, but with some, some diverse responsibilities within that position, I think he's going to end up being a big time playmaker on that Oregon defense. I think Dan Lanning is starting to, to lay that foundation uh, uh, to turn Oregon into what he was a part of at Georgia. Now the question will be, can he coach those guys up and develop those guys into what he was a part of at Georgia? Obviously Kirby Smart had a huge role in that and huge hand in making that happen down at Georgia. That's it for me. Oregon fans, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And uh, uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'd ask you to hit like and subscribe. I'm out.